A Saskatoon artist is living a Disney dream. Cinderella, Tinkerbell, and other well-known Disney characters. Welcome to the artwork of Denise Klett. Denise is part of an exclusive group of artists producing popular Disney works for Disney Fine Art by Collectors Editions, a group that which is the official licensee of the Disney company. Denise is the only Canadian artist producing such works for Disney Fine Art, which has galleries throughout Europe and North America. And Denise Klett joins us from her home. Hi there, Denise. How are you? Hi, thanks for having me. Well, it's great to chat with you. I, I, I started following you on Facebook and I just thought to myself, I've got to talk to this person because you have an amazing journey to share with us. Uh, but before we get into that, you were recently at, at Epcot at Disney World where you got to showcase your artwork. What was that experience like for you? Oh, I'm still pinching myself. Um, to be there was surreal. Um, I'm a huge Disney, Disney fan myself, but to be there showing my art to Disney fans and to have it showcased um, at what, a very prominent gallery, it was, it was a dream come true. What were some of the works that you had on display there that people got to see and, of course, purchase? Um, so it's an event that Disney puts on. It's a fine art festival, and they have it so that people can come and meet um, artists. So I was at the Wyland Gallery of Florida. Um, the Wyland Gallery, is a, they have a location at Boardwalk at the Epcot um, Park. And so I was able to show my non-Disney art and also all of my new um Disney art. So I had a pretty good variety. I had um, five or six original pieces and also the reproductions that Disney Fine Art does. So what characters do you focus in on, uh, Disney characters that, 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 that you focus in on with your work? Oh, there's just too many. I have such a long list. <laughs> <laughs> um, I first, I, at the show was two Moana originals and um, I actually got concepts and paintings approved for Frozen. What else was there? A Mickey and Minnie and a Cinderella. Oh, wow. And the Lion King. All familiar yeah. characters to people at home, no doubt about that. Now, you know, you're the only Canadian artist here in this Disney arts team, which is quite an honor because there are not many around the world, in fact. Um, can you tell us, uh, I know this is, could be a long story, but the shortened version of how you ended up connecting with these folks, because you've been an artist in Saskatoon for a number of years. Yeah, it, I've been full-time artist for not quite 40 years. So I started when I was one. How's that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll buy that. Um, yeah, I've been painting full-time since I was 18. And the journey has been, it's a long one, like it would take forever to tell the story. But um, I was able to participate in a show in Florida, which led to the introduction of the Wyland Galleries to my art. And then when I was there in the beginning of 2019, we talked about um, how to become a Disney fine artist and the approach to it. And the gallery owner told me I had to come up with something not done before. And so I, I took the challenge on and came home and created my first piece and then um, about uh, three, three months later, they told me that Disney really, Disney Fine Art Collector's Edition really loved my work and if I could do a few more pieces. And that led to me creating some more. And then exactly six months to the date that they said they loved my art, I, I signed. I signed with them. What? Which what? was just. Well. Beyond thrilling. <laughs> I can imagine. What went through your mind the actual moment you found out? that you were going to be part of this exclusive Disney arts team? Well, it was 8.04 in the morning that I got the call. <laughs> <laughs> and it was a good thing. I, it was a good thing that I was sitting because I my heart was just pounding and I actually couldn't believe that this was true. I mean, I had six months to think about it and like dream about it and hope that everything, you know, would be successful through the approval process, which is quite lengthy. And when I got the call that I was a member of the family, they said, welcome to the, the family. Mm -hmm. And I was just, I screamed. I think I screamed. I think I cried a bit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then I phoned my husband. <laughs> well, of course, it's, it's, uh, it, it is big news for any artist indeed. 
Uh, I want to ask you a little bit. I'm just curious when you produce a piece of art for Disney or eventually, you know, for the for the fine arts people who pass it on to Disney. But what is the vetting process there? I'm just curious about that. Like when I do a concept, you mean? Yes. Um, OK, so I actually have the privilege of being able to pick what I want to create from most of the libraries of Disney movies. Um, so I'll come up with an idea I draw it on my iPad, full colored, um, with lots of notes, and then it gets submitted up to Disney Fine Art, and then um, they submit it to the Walt Disney Company. And it actually goes, depending on the category that it fits in, let's say if it's the princesses, it will go to the princess, that department, and they will say, yes, that's good, or no, you have to change this. And it, if, it, if there's changes, it's usually minor, they'll come back with, no, that line isn't correct. Once that's approved, I have the go-ahead to um, produce the actual artwork. And then once that's done, it goes through the same approval process again. Hopefully it's perfect because my art isn't just painting, it's sculpting and painting. Um, so it's hard to make changes. And then once that's approved, then it gets approved for distribution. It's given a SKU number, um, put into the catalog, and then it's allowed to be sold. Wow. So start to finish three to six months each piece. Wow. So what, um, if you don't mind me asking, what does something like this cost? What would it cost if I was interested in purchasing one of those pieces? Well, they're not cheap. Um, they can start at around 3000 and work their way up to several tens of thousands. Oh. But there's, yeah, there, there's a lot of people who are part of the project. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And so this is not from my kid's bedroom then, unless I'm one of those really wealthy people, I suppose. No, it's not. It's very much adult collect like lots of adult collectors. Um, they're serious about their Disney collections and they're from all over the world. I mean, I haven't met them all, obviously, but yeah, there's there's serious art collectors in that love the Disney theme. So what do you look for for inspiration when producing one of those pieces for Disney? I honestly know Moana movie off by heart because when I'm working on a piece, I will play the Disney movie in the background and it drives my husband crazy. <laughs> but I use their the, the energy of the movie to, you know, help keep motivating me. And there's so many ideas. I have so many ideas. I have a sketchbook full of just, okay, next, next. Mm. Um, and then also, if it's a commission from a collector, they kind of have an idea of what they would like. And, you know, I I'm, have lots of leeway to create from that, too. Well, I encourage people to go to your website and even your Facebook page, too. Is It's, it's a beautiful uh, website, by the way, and it showcases your work and all its splendor. Thank so you. we do encourage people to check that out. Um, I do want to ask you, though, um, about the work that's behind you there. What is that? Yeah. Oh, wrong way. <laughs> Where is there? It is. What? What is that? What is that there? Can you tell us a little bit about that? So, um, all of my originals are right now are down in Florida, and the ones that I'm working on, I can't show. So, this is actually what I did for you: is I printed off what a concept drawing looks like, and I printed it up really big. So that's that I drew on my iPad and painted it on my iPad, and. Um, then I, that's what get, would have gotten approved, and then I would go yeah. ahead and paint the original and sculpt it. And what character is that behind you? That's Olaf. Oh. Come on, don't you know Frozen? <laughs> no. <laughs> you know, my kids were past that age. I know it's an adult movie as well, because a lot of adults watch it, but no, I missed it. So that's what it is. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, yeah. Denise, what accounts for this What's your theory, your thoughts on what accounts for this deep fascination for all things Disney and, as it turns out, Disney fine art? Oh, man, I grew up with it, and I, I don't know anybody that doesn't at least have some experience with Disney. And when you're there, I think it's that enchantment of being just lost or taken back to the innocence of childhood the one thing that Disney is known for is their storytelling. Like they're perfect at storytelling and developing the characters and making you fall in love with them. And that's universal and they do such an amazing job. So I think it's such a privilege to, and, and also a, um, 
a serious responsibility, I feel like making sure when I'm producing the artwork I'm producing and giving it the justice that it deserves because Disney has such a high, fine standard for artwork. So what's down the road now? What works uh, do you have coming up that we should look for, Denise? Um, well, I just posted on social media today the, the, the second villain that I get to do, and it's Ursula, and it's a commission, and it's going to be super fun to do. It's astounding how many people are collect like, they love the Disney villains and I've had a lot of requests. So I'm going to get on my evil side and do some villains. <laughs> well, spe well, speaking of that, cause I also noticed on your Facebook page, there's the movie Cruella that's coming out. And I think it's going to be released in May. Uh, you're working on something yes. there you're promising. And I'm really intrigued cause I love that character. What can we look yeah, for there? I'm, yeah. I'm working on a Cruella de Vil and, um, I can't show you anything. I'm still, I'm still in concept and it'll have to get approved, but hopefully I can get it through approval and get it finished for May because it's going to have lots of spots. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's one movie I watched countless times with my, when my son was, was very young. So I know that one very well. And I'm looking forward to that. Well, Denise, thank you so much. It's been a, what can I say, a magical ride, and it continues for you as an artist from Saskatoon. Congratulations on your success. Thank you. Thank, me, thank you so much for having me on. It was a pleasure. All the best. Bye for now. Hey, see ya.